Let the function f where f of x equals minus 2 on 5 times x minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 3 on 5. Part of the graph of f is shown below. Find f dash of x, the derivative of f with respect to x. To find f dash of x, we can use the chain rule. And so this is going to be 3 times minus 2 on 5, which is minus 6 on 5, and then x minus 2, and then we subtract 1, and so this will become 2, and then multiplying by the derivative of the inside function, which is just going to be 1, and then the constant 3 on 5 is going to become 0. Give the coordinates of the stationary point of f. To find the stationary point, we need to let f dash of x equal 0 and then solve for x. If we let f dash of x equal 0, then x is going to equal to 2, and so the x coordinate is going to be 2. To find the y coordinate, we need to sub in x is equal to 2 into f of x. If we sub in x is equal to 2 into f of x, this is just going to be 3 on 5, and so the y coordinate is going to be 3 on 5. The graph of f has a tangent with a gradient of minus 6 on 5 when x is equal to 1. The graph of f also has a tangent with a gradient of minus 6 on 5 at another point d. Show that the x coordinate of d is 3. If the tangent to the graph of f has a gradient of minus 6 on 5, then this means that f dash of x must equal minus 6 on 5 at two points. To find the x coordinates of these points, we can use the calculator. First, Let's define the function f of x. And now we derive f of x, let it equal minus 6 on 5, and then solve for x. And so solving for x, we get x is equal to 1, or x is equal to 3, and so therefore the value of d must equal to 3. Determine the equation of the tangent that touches the graph of f at point d. To find the equation of the tangent line, we can use the tangent line command in the calculator. And so we want the tangent line for f of x when x is equal to 3. And so the equation of the tangent line is going to be y is equal to, we can take out 1 on 5 as a common factor, 1 on 5 times 19 minus 6x. The tangent to f at point D intersects the graph of f at another point M. Give the coordinates of point M. If the tangent intersects the graph at another point, then we can say that the equation of the tangent line, which is 1 on 5, times 19 minus 6x is going to equal f of x. Setting this up in the calculator, we can find the x coordinates where these two graphs intersect. Solving for x. And so the tangent line is going to intersect with the graph of f of x when x is equal to 0 and when x is equal to 3. And so therefore the point of m is going to have the x coordinate of 0. To find the y coordinate, we need to evaluate f of 0. And so this is going to be 19 on 5. And so therefore the coordinates of m is going to be 0 and 19 on 5. Find the obtuse angle in degrees that the tangent to f at point D makes with the positive direction of the horizontal axis. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. The gradient of the tangent at the point D, we were told that it was minus 6 on 5. And so using the rule m is equal to tan theta, we can say that minus 6 on 5 is equal to tan theta. And so theta is going to be inverse tan of minus 6 on 5. And using the calculator, we can work this out. The angle needs to be in degrees, and so changing to degree mode, we want inverse tan of minus 6 on 5. This is equal to minus 
degrees. For we want the obtuse angle, which is an angle larger than 90 degrees. And so adding 180 to this, the angle theta is going to be 129.8 degrees correct to one decimal place. The graph has two regions. The first region is bounded by the graph of f and the tangent to f at point d. The second region is bounded by the graph of f, the tangent to f at point d, and the horizontal axis. Find the total area of the two regions, give your answer correct to four decimal places. From the previous part of this question, we worked out that the tangent line at the point d also intersects f of x at x is equal to 0. The point d had the x coordinate x is equal to 3. And so sketching this tangent line on the graph, we can see that the first region is going to be from where x is equal to 0 to where x is equal to 3. The area of this region is found by the integral from 0 to 3 of the top function minus the bottom function. And so if we call this area A1, the area is going to be found by integrating from 0 to 3 of the top function, which is 1 on 5 times 19 minus 6x minus the bottom function, which is f of x, and then dx. Setting this up in the calculator, we can work out the area of this first region. And so this is equal to 27 on 10. For the second region, we're told that this is bounded by the tangent line, the graph of f, and the x-axis. And here's where you needed to be extra careful. Notice that the x-intercept of the tangent line comes after the x-intercept of f of x. This means that the tangent line is not always above the graph of f of x. The tangent line is above f of x from x is equal to 3 to where f of x crosses the x-axis, and then the tangent line is above the line y is equal to 0. And so, to find the area of the second region, we first need to find the x-intercept of f of x and the x-intercept of the tangent line. To find the x-intercept of f of x, we let f of x equal 0 and then solve for x. And so using the calculator, solving for x, And so the x-intercept is going to be when x is equal to 3.14471. To find the x-intercept of the tangent line, we let y is equal to 0 and then solve for x. Well then this means that 19 minus 6x is going to equal 0, and so solving for x, x is going to be 19 on 6. And so the area of the second region can be found by integrating from 3 to 3.14471 of the top function, which is the tangent line, 1 on 5 times 19 minus 6x minus the bottom function, f of x, and then plus the integral from 3.14471 to 19 on 6 of just the tangent line, which is 1 on 5 times 19 minus 6x dx. Setting this up in the calculator, we can work out the area of the second region. And so this is equal to 0 0.001545. And so therefore, the total area is going to be the area of region 1 plus the area of region 2. And so this is going to be 2.7016 square units correct to four decimal places. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you guys want to learn how to answer the rest of the Northern Hemisphere 2022 exam, then log into the Maths Methods Club where you'll find step-by-step -step video solutions for all the questions from this paper. 
as well as all the maths methods exam questions asked from 2006. All these questions are grouped by topic so you can focus your studies on a specific area. This is the best way to strengthen your understanding on a specific topic. It's by focusing on one topic at a time. The question we just went through was related to tangent lines. And so if you want to practice or build your understanding on tangent line questions, then from the main topics, all you have to do is click on differentiation and then from the subtopics, select tangents and normals and then click on filter. This is going to instantly group all the past exam questions related to just tangent and normal line questions. If you want to filter down even more, you can select question type and select tech free, multiple choice or extended response. So if you click on extended response, click on filter again, this is just going to instantly filter out all the other questions and give you extended response questions related to tangents and normals. Go through these questions and see how many you can answer correctly. And if you get stuck, you can just watch the video solutions. This way, you're going to have a much better understanding on these types of questions that you could expect in the exams. Best of luck with your studies, and I'll see you guys in the next video.